38 days after the accident, I was being transferred to a rehab. And uh, that's when I woke up. That's when my first memory starts, is that day. And uh, I was in an ambulance, opened my eyes. I, I looked around and, and, and where am I? This big shadow at my feet. And this guy says, you're on your way to rehab. And I had a trach tube and a stomach tube and I talked like the Godfather. Rehab, what happened? He said, you were struck by lightning a month ago. And that's how I found out about it. And uh, I actually, it was two or three hours before uh, my wife got to me to, to tell me what happened. I just laid there and I didn't know what was going on. Tough thing to wake up to. It was May of 2000 and we were playing in a charity golf tournament for the local YMCA. Uh, there were storms brewing off in the distance. The uh, starter actually said, you know, we'll get this in before they get here and, you know, we'll have a good day. We were on the 10th hole, uh, hit up onto the green, getting ready to putt. They blew the horn and um, the alarm went off. Everybody started to run. I walked over to the hole and I was putting the flag in the hole, turning around, leaving the green. My buddies were eight or 10 feet, 15 feet in front of me and they heard this big bang and they turned around and they saw me kind of stumble to the ground, smoke coming from my body, and, and that was pretty much it. My hair was burnt off, my shoes were blown off, uh, my fingers and toes were black. One of the guys I was playing with uh, started CPR right away. They worked on me for about 14 minutes until the uh, EMTs got there. I did 38 days at Brigham and Women's ICU unit. I was in and out of a coma, brain dead, quadriplegia, never walk again. There's not a whole lot the doctors can do with it, except treat it as almost a stroke. Um, and there's not a lot of lightning victims so that the doctors can put a whole bunch together to see what's different from the lightning victim than the stroke victim. It affects memory, it affects balance, uh, personality, all kinds of stuff. It's a billion volts, a couple hundred thousand amps. It fries you. It, it doesn't let you go back to where you were. And that, that's another problem with it is that a lot of people look the same. I mean, lightning doesn't leave an entry or an exit wound a lot of times. The, the wounds that you see will be if you're wearing a, a, a necklace, that'll heat up and it'll burn your neck. So, you know, there's no entry, there's no exit wounds, people look at you, hey, you look fine. You know, but it's like you pour a Coca-Cola on a, on a laptop. You can clean the laptop up, really. Looks good. It's going to run the same? Probably not. You can't do what you were doing on the level you did it. Um, so basically nobody wants you back. Whether it's your job, whether it's your, your, your family, whether it's your friends, whether it's a lot of things, you, you just, you're not the same person. You're talking to a guy who got out of college, gave one degree to his mother and one degree to his father and went in a World Cup freestyle tour. I taught skiing. I windsurfed where there's no land. I started avalanches. Um, I didn't get married till I was 38. I, I lived life to the fullest right away. I'm kind of lucky. I got hurt at 48. And, you know, um, most people at, at 48 are, are, have, you know, raised their kids. Um, they're getting ready to go do stuff. They're getting ready to go play. Oh, I'm going to retire and I'm going to go do this and everything. Well, I'd have waited for that. I'd have been really bummed out because I can't do anything now. It happened to me in a heartbeat, boom. I woke up, I was 48 going on 38 and woke up 48 going on 60. Kind of sucked. <laughs>